Okay, guys. Mm. Toriko, chapter 386. Uh, the chapter starts off with uh, Joy again. It looked like that he was going to die. But um, Arcasia saves him with knocking. And uh, I, I understand why he saved him. But in the context of the story, I don't know why he why he's going to keep living because he doesn't really have anything else he can do because I don't think he can stand up to uh, Midoriya at all and um, now that Toriko got a power up I don't think he can really stand up to him either but um, we'll see what happens with Joey and then uh, we learn that um, Neo's capture level was 22,000, which I feel like is a little too high, even for Neo, considering what Neo is, because it seems like he was still having trouble with the Eight Kings, because we saw that um, if Neo stayed inside of the Mother Stake's um, stomach acid, it, Neo would have died, but... Uh, uh, it's a little confusing. Something I didn't really like. But, um, Neo does have some feats to him, but we know that. And, uh, our cost, and they said our cost is probably 8,000, and now that they're kind of fused together, it's 30,000. But, um, at this point, I feel like capture levels don't matter at all. Just like Midoriya said it. Numbers don't matter at this point. Just like after the Frieza Saga in Dragon Ball Z, power levels do not matter at this point. Um, and then they fight for a while. I, I like the fight. I definitely liked um, Arcasia. I think it was um, Glomery Grasp, I think, where his hand came out of the ground. I, I like that move. And... Uh, He's still having, he's still definitely having trouble, trouble with Midoriya, because Midoriya is actually hurting him. And, uh, and then Toriko starts fighting him again, and Toriko seems like he did some damage to him. He even did his infinite Kugi punch, but that didn't matter, of course, because Arcasia is godlike by this point. But, um... And uh, and uh, and uh, Akasa used to absolute shit out Nor. Uh, I will say, Toriko. And he's surprised that Toriko's alive. And Tor and he um asked Toriko, did he eat God? And Toriko said, no. He was waiting for somebody uh, for somebody else to eat it. Which are two possibilities that I can think of. It's he's either thinking of Komatsu. Or, the one that I really want, the other three kings, um, Zebra, Coco, and Sunny. If they eat God, they could be good support for Midoriya and um, Toriko. Because at that point, their gourmet demons will be fully awakened. And the gourmet demons by themselves are extremely powerful. I don't think they'll be enough to take on... Um, Arcasia head on, but they'll be um, they'll be good for support for them. Okay, and then for the cliffhanger in the chapter, um, Arcasia is about to eat Toriko, and Starjun jumps in the way. Now, I thought of uh, two things. One, I know that they're not killing off Starjun this yet, if they are. They're not going to kill him off. If they do, I will be very surprised if they kill him off right now. Or two, that's one of Coco's poison dolls if um, Coco and them did eat God. And Coco made that poison doll to um, get in the way of Arcasia, which would be... I think that would be a good choice, but we'll see next week. This chapter overall, I thought it was, it was pretty good. Nothing really of substance happened, but, uh, yeah.
Oh yeah, and we still didn't get to see what happened with um Pear, which I thought we were going to at this point, but I guess we'll see him later. But uh yeah, if you guys have uh any questions down below or want to talk to me about the chapter, comment down below. Uh make sure to like this video and bye guys.